Alright guys, so this is the last fish haul of 2019. Mona, stop. Hey. Hey. What's wrong with you? Moving like the speed or something. Like the bullet train. All right, so I previously had some problems with a tang that I got. I got a half black mimic tang and uh, Bowser over there. Where is he? Is he on this side? Anyways, fuck him. That fat fish uh, decided he was gonna murder him. So I should have used the acclimation box, but I didn't. So that's really my own problem. Um, so now that I know he's an aggressive fat boy uh, like some people here but i'm gonna go ahead and use this acclimation box that i have this is just a critter carrier from petco or PetSmart, and then i drilled a bunch of holes in it i actually used a hot solder to just poke the holes through it put some suction cups on the back super glue and then i also have a tonsy magnet that i use i just had an extra magnet so I'll go ahead and put that up here and then i'll show you guys how it works Anyways, it's pretty straightforward. You attach it on. Um, I'll put the fish on and then you just have to be quick. Make sure you put on the, the top piece here. Um, there's a little feeding door. Anyways, I'll show you in another clip that I took. Okay, here we have the Angry Owl Peacemaker 3000. Um, this is the first edition. Comes with suction cups on the back. There is uh, an optional Tons of magnet you can fit on there as well. Let me show you how this works. These two peas won't know. What you do is you put your fish in there. You're gonna put the top on, and then you're like, oh, I gotta feed the fish. Oh shit! And you just put some food in there. The dog will bark and get pissed because they're getting fed, but not the dogs. And uh, yeah, this keeps your fish safe from dirty fox face murderers let's get to the haul all right as for the fish that i got i got this beautiful powder blue tang it's gonna look a little off right now not as deep color but in the store he was absolutely beautiful looks amazing so process i do it's pretty easy um, i don't feel like quarantining these guys so i'm just gonna take that risk whatever <laughs> he looks great and everyone in the tank looked great i have this bucket over here with a net we're gonna go ahead, capture in the net, and then we're gonna put them in the acclimation box, drop them in there. All right, there we go. There is the beautiful powder blue. Sorry, kind of getting a little bit of his color back from when he was in the bag. What a beauty. So he'll chill out in here for a couple of days. Um, we'll see how the fox face does. Right now, no one notices him, uh, which is really stupid and misleading when you first put him in a box like this. You're like, oh, why am I gonna put him in here? No one. No one even notices they're in there, but trust me, as soon as they come out of that box, it's a whole different scenario. We got some other things too, as part of the haul. Go ahead and pull those out. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, this is the next part of the haul here. It's just some simple hermit crabs that you can't see for shit, because all the bad lighting in here. Anyways, got a whole bunch of hermits in here. Strategy for these guys, well, really simple. Float them, make sure they're acclimated. I'll dump them into this tub and then I'm just gonna spray them in the tank. Pretty simple for hermits.
And the last part of my haul is one k. Just kidding. You couldn't make me pay good money for something like this. Look at, look at how wide. Oh my gosh. Oh, you embarrassed? All right. The last part for real, something I would pay money for, is uh, about 25 turbo snails. As you can see throughout the aquarium here, tons of green hair algae. I just scrubbed all these portions. ATO is going off, real professional. Let's see, I scrubbed this side kind of yesterday. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job. And then I scrubbed this portion, then this I did not. So all this is non-scrubbed, fresh. Oh, there's the murderer, real nice. So in part of helping to get the tank back to where the rocks are at least clean, the tank's doing good overall, but to where it's at least clean, a little more presentable, I'm putting in some more turbos, cleanup crew, and we're also uh, reducing the feeding by about half. Right now I'm feeding my own mixed food, which is about, cut into cubes, which is half an ounce. If you have a scale at home, um, go and weigh a standard cube of like acarimysis or something. See what you get, I'm interested to see what it is. Uh, just in comparison to my half ounce feeding. So for the snails, uh, I typically just like to, instead of empty not the bag and all that shit i like to just grab these little tongs and then i'll place them on the rocks where i want them so at least they're starting right on the rocks so they can get right to eating like some of these hermits they're already getting into eating i gotta flip himself over eventually or he'll die if he dies he dies Okay, so I don't think you guys want to watch me place some snails. So I'm going to go ahead and place the snails. I'll give you a rundown of everyone in the tank right now since the Potter Blue has just been added. And then we'll cap off this video, which will be unnecessarily long, as always. Okay, let's give you the tour. So all the snails are in. You can see I really piled them up over here. Hmm, let's see. Right there, a few on this rock. Hopefully they really go to town on that hair algae and help me get rid of it. But we will see what happens. Guys, I really hate this orange filter. I think it makes it look too orange. What do you guys think? Does that look better? Or does this look better? I know this is still blue, but to me, this captures the tank a little bit nicer. The other one is with the lenses stacked. So you guys saw the first option. This would be with the yellow 10K lens. I'll show you just the 15K lens. Can I screw this on without looking? Doubt it. What do you guys think? I guess we'll just rock this one for the remainder of the video because I don't feel like switching and I'm sure that was really irritating to hear that screwing on. All right, so what do we got in the tank now? We got 1,000 hermit crabs, 20,000 snails, and a whole lot of algae. We have two mocha da Vinci's. Actually, one is true mocha. The other one's just, I mean, it's just a da Vinci. It's just black da Vinci basic. Then that is a bullet hole clownfish. She is the queen of the tank. She dominates. By the way, am I the only one who names my fish? All these fish have names. So I'm going to make another video on that, I think. Those Duncans are looking good. They were fluffier earlier. All right, what else do we got? Oh, we got the true queen, my queen, my Khaleesi. Leopard wrasse. She is a specimen right here. If you're looking for a leopard wrasse, you need to compare it to this leopard wrasse. Because this is the specimen. Anyone else who has a leopard wrasse, I feel sorry for you. 
that you have the second best looking leopard grass out there. What else do we got? Let's swing around to the other side. Oh, well, right here, we got the mass murderer. Look at how thick that fucker is. That is the magnificent fox face. By the way, that fox face murdered my brain coral. And it's hanging on to life. This is why I know it's not a parameter thing. It's gotta be that it was getting eaten because if it was a parameter thing, that thing would have let go by now and it would have showed way more signs, way differently. Uh, I saw the fox face picking at it and that was the second coral I ever got and it was alive through every shenanigan that I pulled. So that's pretty annoying. We have our diamond goby, our favorite sand sifter. There is another one. This is the bigger one of the two. There's another one, uh, she's a little smaller. I'm just assuming they're a male female pair just due to the size. I have no idea if they do the same thing along the lines of clownfish with the size difference, but I would assume the male is bigger. Here's another look at the magnificent fox face. I like these ones better than just the regulars, just due to the red and the dorsal. And, oh, okay, you're gonna flash. Fuck you too then. See, this guy's a freaking dick. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, or also what is cool about this fish is it will, it will change color. In the morning you'll see it tucked up in the rock somewhere and it will have uh, kind of like a zebra-like appearance. It'd be very dull and, and shaded out. And we have a crescent tail wrasse. This is gonna be hard to get these two. These guys are squirrely. So there's the crescent tail wrasse, beautiful black. This guy's flashing right now. I had my Midas Plenty uh, pass over the weekend, so I think there's a little bit of um, new territory being established in this tank, new dominance. So I think that's why my wrasses are flashing. It's really awesome for me though, because it's amazing to watch. This guy here is a gold Rhomboid wrasse, or rom it's a rhomboid or rhomboid? Yes. No, it's rhomboid. Beautiful fish, I actually snapped some really good pictures. What I thought were really good pictures of him. He was flashing earlier and he had even more of that purple on and he darkens up. This is a beautiful fish though. Here's the Mocha Da Vinci. Get another shot at this poser sold to me as a Mocha, you're just black. Who else am I missing? Oh, I know, this little fucker. Everyone knows what that is. That's a flame angel. That thing's a little fuck, too. All right, I think that is all of the fish that I have in this tank currently. Definitely have plans to get more in the future. Now we have this guy. Really, I want more wrasses, but I couldn't, I just felt like I couldn't pass up on this guy. He looked really good. I've been trying to look at these for a while. He wasn't super big, so he wasn't overly expensive either. But anyways, guys, that is the last haul of 2019. We're gonna go ahead and let everything settle in. This guy, I mean, I'll do a quick update when I actually go and release them in, just so y'all can see how that actually goes. One other thing to note that I'm doing, uh, for the algae as I'm dosing some live rock enhance. I've already done three doses over the past week. So I'll do a couple more doses uh, throughout this week as they suggest. I think they do three doses, then you go down to two weeks of uh, two doses. And then I think maybe just one dose a week after that. I'll see if it does anything in conjunction with the other methods that I'm doing. And yeah, I'll try to get out another update video before the end of the year. There's some stuff I'm doing with the ICP test results. Also, some trace elements dosing. It's getting very scientific over here. And the uh, there's some new corals in there, as you can see. And they're doing pretty good. Things are doing all right. Some things are doing a little strange. So we'll have to cover that in another video. So as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.